Hi, I'm Davis, front-end engineer for AWS Service Catalog. I'm here to show you how to use AWS Service Catalog to organize, govern, distribute, and provision application stacks on AWS. Let's start by quickly going over what AWS Service Catalog is and what it can do for you. When using AWS Cloud Resources, it can be frustrating to make sure everyone has the right level of access to the services they need, especially if different roles and positions have different needs. Things get even more complex when administrators need to make sure everything is properly updated and compliant with security standards. AWS Service Catalog helps IT administrators organize, govern, and distribute application stacks, which we call products, using CloudFormation templates. They can then group sets of products into folders that we call portfolios. Using permissions and constraints, administrators can then give people, called users, the ability to self-service, discover, launch, and manage those products without needing direct access to the underlying AWS services or the AWS console. AWS Service Catalog simplifies organizing and governing your products. As a result, you'll need to know some things outside the scope of this video before being able to use AWS Service Catalog to its fullest. For the purposes of this video, we're going to assume that you know how to open an AWS account or log into your existing account, how to use AWS Identity and Access Management, and how to create or obtain AWS CloudFormation templates. If you need any help with the above topics, you can find more info in the AWS Service Catalog documentation. There's a link below. One last thing before we continue. AWS Service Catalog is being continuously improved to meet the needs of customers like you. As a result, this video might not exactly match how AWS Service Catalog looks to you. Don't fret, the functionality will be similar. AWS Service Catalog is designed so that users with different permissions only see the set of products that you, the administrator, want them to see. As a result, we need to set up our users and grant them permissions before we start building our portfolios. We do this using AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM for short. If you already have users, groups, or roles set up from your other AWS services, congratulations, you can use those groups in Service Catalog. We need to make sure that every account that gets admin access has the AWS Service Catalog Admin Full Access Policy permission, and that our end users get AWS Service Catalog End User Full Access permissions. Once they're set up, we're ready to start using AWS Service Catalog. With AWS Service Catalog, our goal is to provide users with sets of products that they have permission to create and use without an admin having to manually create each instance as the request comes. A grouping of products is called a portfolio. Users will be given access to portfolios, which will then determine what products they can launch. Only admins can create and edit portfolios. Log in as your admin account. To create a portfolio, open up the AWS Service Catalog console. If the navigation drawer is closed, click the Menu button to expose it. Click on Portfolios List, then Create Portfolio. Give your new portfolio a name, a description, and the name of the person who manages the portfolio. Then click Create, and you're done. You'll be moved to the Portfolios List page, where you'll be able to see your new portfolio in the Portfolio List. As a quick tip, Many admins make a portfolio for each of their teams. Let's make one for Team 2. The next step to getting AWS Service Catalog working for you is to create a new product. A product is a collection of services, such as storage and databases, that you want your users to be able to provision. Make sure you're still logged in as an administrator, and use the left side menu to navigate to the Products list in the Admin section. Click Upload New Product and follow the steps in the wizard. Give your new product a title and a description. After entering information on the product and support detail pages, you'll be prompted to upload a CloudFormation template. Alternatively, if you have a URL for a template, you can use that as well. Confirm your choices and you're set. Head back to the Portfolios list and click the name of your new portfolio. Normally, this would show all of the products in our portfolio, but it starts out empty. Click Add Product to get a list of all your products. Choose the product you want to add by clicking inside the circle to the left of its name, then click Add Product to Portfolio. 
you can have as many products in a portfolio as you want. We've got a portfolio with a product in it, but our users can't access it yet. We need to tell AWS Service Catalog who can access what. Using the left side menu, go back to the portfolio list. Click the name of your portfolio to get to its details page. Scroll down to the Users, Groups, and Roles section and click it to expand the section. Click Add User, Group, or Role and select the Users, Groups, or Roles that should have access to the portfolio's products. Click Add Access and you should be good to go. Now our users should be able to provision new products on their own. Let's go through how that works and make sure everything is set up correctly. I'm going to log in to a different account as a user. I've already given this user account permission to access my new portfolio, so they should be ready to provision some products. I'll navigate to the products list, then select the product I want to run. I'll click launch product, then follow the wizard to launch the product. Done. Furthermore, users can also terminate products just as easily. Just think of how much time we've saved by using AWS Service Catalog. We didn't need to manually set up each instance of each product for every user. We segregated products by team using portfolios. And our users are self-sufficient and provision what they need using approved products. Hopefully you now have a better idea of how AWS Service Catalog can make managing your large-scale application stacks a breeze. If you have any other questions or want to know about all of the other features AWS Service Catalog has to offer that I didn't get to in this video, check out aws.amazon.com/servicecatalog. Thanks for watching.